Hey guys, just a quick video. I wanted to show you an app that called Reflect. It's an iOS app. There are a couple of options for Android. One is ToolWiz, another is PixArt. Uh, there's lots of different gimmicky apps out there. Um, what I love about this iOS app is that you have much more control and you can make it look a little bit more realistic with uh, water displacement and that sort of thing. And that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a mirror that kind of looks like, looks like a water. Um, like a, a puddle or something like that. There's the before and after that I just experimented with. So that's the before on the left, after on the right. Yes, it's very different. We've changed the whole look of it, but we're just playing around because there's going to be some instances where this this will, um, will will look great. Like I had a photo a while ago of my, my daughter playing mini golf and I got down really extremely low and the actual hole filled up a third of the, the lower um, part of the frame. And you can see her in the background as the ball's coming towards there. So if I had made that look like a water hazard, um, that, would look, that would look great. But we're gonna stick with this one. Okay, so there's our image. We've opened up this image. Now here you can go in here, you can change the aspect, um, recrop it however you want. Might bring out some of that sky, um, that'll do. So we'll go done. Okay, so that's opened that up. By default, it's opened up with this preset. Tap on the presets, and this is what I like about this one, is that you've got all these different options here. Tap on that on the right there. You've got water reflections, ice reflections, floor surfaces, sci-fi, sci-fi. Let's just have a look. I haven't done sci-fi for ages, so let's have a look. The Matrix, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's pretty funky. All right, we'll get out of there. Uh, beaches. Okay. Oh, look at that. Well, oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, that's really cheating. All right, so we'll go back. We'll go to water. So we're actually, with water, we're actually using what is there. So I like choppy. Wow. Let's go with Mirror Lake 2. I think that's nice and subtle. Next thing you do is go to Edit. And here you can change with these sliders, you can change the water displacement. Now I want to try and make this look as, as real as I can. So we'll go and bring it back to a minimal amount. Okay. And you can swipe up and down and you can change where you want this to take effect. Like a lot of those gimmick apps that I talked about that just split the image in half, they do it exactly at the center line. So this one here, you can change it to wherever you want. You can. I think it looks best up there where the fog kind of looks seamless. There's no, no line. So I think we'll go with that. Next thing you do is uh, you can blur the bottom, that sort of thing. So create a kind of a depth of effect, a uh, depth of field effect. Masking, so now with masking, I'll just show you what this does is you can just swipe anywhere and you can re remove that mirror effect. Okay, press the plus and minus. We'll leave that there, quite like that. And then on the right hand side there, you can change the opacity. So if that was too strong and we wanted to bring in some of the original back, we'll go back to minus. Okay, so I'm bringing back some of the original. Okay, we might want to, that example of playing mini golf where I wanted, it wasn't a flat line, it was the, the edge of the cup. So I might want to do something like, something like that around the edge of the cup, okay. So I'll just undo all that. Having a bit of a play, it's all good. Okay, all right. Next thing is, there's one here called Fog. The reason why this is here is for that, uh, like I mentioned, um, how you've got that line. The fog can be a bit of a creative thing you can put in there. Uh, we're not going to bother with that because we've already got fog. Okay, once you're done, you just press up at the top right hand corner there, the share button, and you can save it. Or you can save it as a PNG, which is the, the best photo um, file resolution that you can. And you can send it to an app. So this one here, I'm going to send this to an app because I found something in there that it's kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, the power lines. Did anyone see the power lines? All right. Copy to retouch. Retouch is fantastic. It actually has a line removal. So we'll tap on that. Okay. And whenever I play around with apps, I look for editing apps where you can pinch and zoom so you can get in close. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay. Line removal. Just roughly around with your finger. Let go. And bang. It's got rid of the line. It's amazing. Okay. And again, job done. How good's that? 
So before, after, you can't even tell, it's extraordinary. Okay, uh, I can see down the bottom there, there's another bit there, so that's annoying me, right? The, because I do what we call border patrol, so I go around the edges. Yes, I've got a bit of a tree line in, on the left side there, it doesn't bother me too much, but I'm gonna go to the back button, go to clone stamp, and now I'll pinch and zoom, pick a target area that I want to select uh, from, and then I'll just swipe over top that bottom. See how it had that little bit at the bottom there? So I selected where I want to copy from and then I swipe what, what I want to replace. Okay, tap on, done, done, and that's it. So that's the Reflect app. Uh, this is a quick and easy app that I can show you that you can play around with any of your existing photos that you've got. Like I said, Android, you've got ToolWiz, you've got um, PixArt, and if you find anything else, uh, yeah, please, please let us know. We, we look forward to seeing your photos.